This is a very sad story. It is about the one day in Jesus' life, so it's not the whole story about Jesus. Even though the story has a happy ending, it's important to remember what happened on this day. Station 1 It is early in the morning. Enemies of Jesus have arrested him. He has been beaten and tied up and taken away. Jesus' friends have left him behind because they are afraid. Jesus knows that he will suffer and die. Station 2 Jesus accepts his punishment. He is quiet when he picks up the heavy cross. He knows that he is never alone. He prays to his Father in heaven. Station 3 as Jesus walks along the long road, the cross becomes too heavy. The soldiers laugh at Jesus and tease him. Jesus falls, but he must get back up and walk on. Station 4 As Jesus continues to walk with the cross on his shoulder, he sees his mother. She is so sad that she can hardly speak. The disciple John is with her and Jesus asks John to take care of her. Her heart is breaking. Station 5 Even the soldiers can see that Jesus is too tired to carry the cross any farther. They make a man in the crowd named Simon carry Jesus' cross for a while. Simon isn't happy to have to help carry the cross, but he obeys the soldiers. Jesus thanks Simon and they keep on walking. Station 6 Jesus continues walking with Simon and the soldiers. He is so tired. A woman named Veronica runs through the crowd to meet him. She is a rich woman, and she takes off her beautiful scarf to wipe Jesus' bleeding face. She tries to give him something to drink, but the soldiers send her away. Simon and Veronica are changed by Jesus as they leave him. They have felt his great, strong love. Station 7 Jesus takes up the cross and continues towards the end of the road. The crowd is loud and they are pushing and shoving. Jesus falls again in the road. He gets back up and tries to go on. Station 8 As Jesus slowly walks along, he sees a group of women who are crying. They can't believe this is happening to their Lord. Jesus tells them to not cry for him, but to take care of each other. He tells them to love their children and their neighbors. Station 9. He has passed the woman and is near the hill at the end of the road. As he begins to climb the hill, he falls a third time. Station 10. At the top of the hill, the soldiers stand, the cross up between two others. They take his robe and most of his clothes from him. Jesus asks God to help him and not be afraid. Station 11. The soldiers nail Jesus to the cross. He is suffering, but he worries about his friends and his mother, and the woman, and even the soldiers who have been so cruel to him. He prays for them. He asks God to forgive them and help them. Station 12. Jesus suffered through that long walk. He has been beaten and yelled at. There is nothing left, and this part of his life has come to an end. Jesus dies on the cross, and the sky becomes very dark. 
Station 13. A follower of Jesus named Joseph gently takes Jesus' body down from the cross. Mary and his friends are crying. They gently wrap his body in clean linen. Station 14. Joseph takes Jesus' body to a tomb that is cut out of rock. He puts Jesus' body in the tomb and seals the entrance with a large stone. Soldiers will guard the tomb until they return after the day of rest to anoint Jesus' body with spices and oil. Station 15. When the sun rose on the day after the sa Sabbath, Mary went to the tomb, but the stone had been rolled away. Mary was frightened, but an angel appeared to her, and she knew that Jesus was alive again. He was not tired or sad or suffering. He was, he was with his friends again in a new and special way, and they knew that he was the light of the world. <laughs> 